Hello friends, we are going to be making some cute cards today with some new products from the catalog. They're simple and they're called Mix and Match. So I want to show you these new products that we have. So I don't know if you're the kind of person, like let's say you're cooking. Okay, I'm going to make a comparison. You're cooking and are you the person that likes to start with like a recipe or do you like to... Um, make a kit. So like we make Blue Apron at our house and I love it because after a long day of work, all I have to do is open the box and execute it. There's no, there's no um, thinking involved. But what I often do is I'll take the Blue Apron recipe and then I'll tweak it and mix and match it and make it my own. And so then it becomes like a recipe that started somewhere, but then I took it to another level. But Blue Apron gives me all the ingredients that I need to make something cute. And that's how I would describe this new line of products from Stampin' Up! called Mix and Match. So it is on page 18 and 19, and then you'll see some examples on page 20. But what we have are two different sets of card bases and envelopes. They're super cute. And whichever you decide to buy, or if you buy both, get multiple packs, okay? Because each one has five in there, and you're gonna want more than five, okay? I'm just telling you based on my experience. Because once you've made the five, you're like, okay, I need like a million more of those. Because these little packs, these are called ephemera packs. So these are little, I, they're just little, die cuts and they have we have sayings and i'll show you some up close sayings images flowers and labels okay and then i'm not using this today but there's a cute stamp set called simply said that goes with these just to kind of if you want to step it up a notch but here are some samples of cards that stampin up made super cute um, in the catalog. So if you don't want to think, if you want the Blue Apron experience, then just grab your bits and make them exactly like, like they did. You can see some other examples on this corner. So I made this cute little card. I know we have cat lovers and dog lovers. This is for our cat lovers. I made this card using the different packs. So let me show you the different packs that we have. Um, we have, oh, these are some more examples. This is the, let me get the word, let me get the, let me call it what it is. This is the something for everything ephemera pack. So that's right here and that's where I got the little cat from but you've got some you've just got a wide mixture of things here and there's two of every set okay then you've got this little set for tr lots of you can see lots of neat things for travel um some other doodads this is where i got me cats okay and then i've got Oh, here's the other set. It's got like cakes, strawberries, rainbows. So lots of, lots of items. All right, the next pack is the uh, saying something. And this has some scripty words. We've got some more scripty words. Um, and then we've got lots of little sayings that you can just pop out and then we've got some bubble words okay so that's the other set of ephemera all right and then my card bases that i'm using today i've got i chose the sunny springs card bases these are two of them i'll show you the other two three in a second but we're going to use this little guy he's so cute to make a card with our dog all right, let's set this over here. All right, so first we're gonna just start with this cute little pennant. 
And you can use glue dots or liquid glue to stick these down. Um, I like to stick some of the elements directly down to the card and then I like to pop some up. But this one, I'm gonna stick directly down like so. And then I've got, I've got some little elements that I've gotten. So this is from the little um, some say, saying something, these two sentiments. We have some balloons from the something for everything and the dog. And then this saying something is from, I mean, this howdy comes from the saying something pack. So the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of arrange and just see what all I can fit here. I'm going to go ahead and I got, I got some of the layout ideas for these cards from Janet Wakeland. She's got some really cute ones if you want to look those up. Um, but I just thought this was adorable. All right, so just lay it out like you think you're going to like it. And then honestly, it is zip zap after that because all you're going to do is like, I do the bottom layer of things stuck down regularly. And then I'll pop up one or two things. So for this purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these down straight. And then I'm gonna pop up the dog with dimensional. So I would suggest you get all the packs. They're only like eight or nine dollars each. So they're eight, they're all eight dollars each. Simple, simple. Okay. So I suggest just get all of them and then get multiple packs of the note cards because you're going to go through those really quickly. All right, so then I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of liquid glue. I wasn't going to stick this. I didn't even see this howdy, but it fell out of the pack and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so cute on my card. And so we're going to stick this down. Doo -doo. And honestly, you don't need anything to dress up these cards if you don't want to, but why not grab some cute rhinestones and bling them up. So let me grab some, see if I can find any. My embellishment bag is pretty messy, but I'd like some just plain rhinestones if I can find any. Hmm. Cannot. Let me see if I think these. Let me see if these are still in the catalog. <clears throat> well, anyway, let's. Oh, here we go. Was, oh. Let's see what we can use that's still in the catalog. Okay. So let's use, I love these neutrals sequins and I'm gonna grab the gold sequins. From here, we've got just a few, and we'll just show you how you can bling this card up with a little bit of sparkle or not. So up to you if you want to take it to the next level by simply just adding something sparkly. All right, and let me bling up the other card. Da -da. Howdy. I don't know, neutral sequins go well with everything, right? Okay, so we have, and that that is right here, um, neutral adhesive back sequins, 161627. All right, so anywho, those are my little cat and dog mix and match cards. Oh, hello. Hi, Dana. Good to see you. And let me show you a couple, two other cards. So there's six cards in the pack. This is a inspir inspired by, these two are inspired by Janet Wakeland. I changed them up a smidge. They're also super cute. And then I just created this one on my own. 
and um, they're just adorable. Now, if you're if you are interested, I would get a couple packs or more of this cards and envelopes. Get both of the ephemera packs, and then grab whatever embellishment you like, and just mix and match. And then I really want to see what you make with these projects because I am loving it, loving it to death. And I can't wait to see what you create with this mix and match um, products that are new in the catalog. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.